Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The brand is Amankwa Palm. If you're new here, kindly subscribe, like, and comment. Today we are going to sew something nice. We're going to sew a self tie neck jumpsuit. We are going to use Ankara, our own traditional cloth, Ankara. But please stay tuned. Let's sew together. But don't forget, subscribe. It's down there. Welcome back, lovelies. So, as I said, we are going to sew a self tie neck jumpsuit with our own Ankara. So I feel, um, the fabric we are using is two yards. So I divide it into two parts, which is one inch here on the other side for front and back. So I folded I'll I'll fold this one into four, like I'll fold it into four. Yes. So I just drape it nicely. Nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. So I fold it again. There we go. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yep. Uh, so her shoulder is uh, um, around her bust is 24. So I got seven. And we, around the around arm is we got five. Yes, that's what we have. We take four from the top. So we measure up to her waist. Yes, we, uh, we got measure up to her waist. We got 16. Yeah, so we added one inch allowance to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one inch allowance. Yes. So um, we've already measured it. So we had to add one inch more because of the, the seat of um, her waist. We don't want it hanging. So and there we go we cut i hope you are cutting with me yeah yeah done you're done cutting yep yeah. so now we have two pieces we have the front and the back yep now we have the front and the back so you know the front has a hole a small circle yeah so we just measure one and then you circle it nicely yeah, you know how to get it and do it in a style you want to be shaped all around. So we cut it nicely. Uh -huh. With the arm, we are not going to pipe. We will use the, this armhole to do the piping itself. Yes. So we are done cutting the front. Now we are going to cut the shorts, the one that we join to the top to make it jump smooth. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, our measurements, we are using the hip, her hip measurements for it. So, her hip, we measured the reach 36, so we got um, into four, so we got nine inch. We use the same for her crotch, just her, um, her seat for the flap. And yeah, we measure two inches. And then we trace it nicely. Trace along with me. Let's go. Let's go. Are you tracing? Yeah. Her length. Yeah, as I said, her length. Normally, I, for a simple son of thing, kind of things, I use um, the measurements from the top. And I, got, I, I use it. If it's 18, I divide it. Let's say her top from her shoulder to her waist is 18. I put the 18 close to the edge of where I'm measuring. Now get the length that I'm looking for. Simple as that. So we are done. We added two inches for the allowance so that we get the cuff when we want to do the hem. Yeah, so that's that's what we are doing. We are cutting. Yeah, we are done cutting the front. That's the front. No allowance needed. So we are going to add allowance to the back. Because first and foremost, 
allowance to the back is most important the front doesn't need allowance yes because your goose and every goose is at the back yeah so i added two inches allowance and pin it down so that it will move all over the place so uh, as i said the hip i measure is 10 so yeah it's already took one inch from earlier on yeah so we got nine i add two inch to a seat and then one and a half at the top then you, you join it to, to the waist side like you join it then you trace trace it nicely on the edge but baby. So you trace it nicely yes. you carry it now you're good to go very good to go let's cut let's cut let's cut i hope you see this as this sharp keep cutting don't stop now we are done eh we are going to pipe our top that's how we pipe it we we'll just stick it we ironed and we got some piece of for our piping. So now we're gonna pipe it. Mm, yeah. We pipe the, the hole that we created in front. Yeah. Now we are done with it. So now we, we are going to join the front to the back. Yes, yeah, so you put it on both sides, pin them down so that you know what you're doing like you want want yeah shift or something yeah everybody shake it baby so, let's go stitch yeah we are done with stitch so we have to trim it like i use knitting i don't have to travel all the way to do it so i do it and i you have to actually trim off the thread now with our, our front side eh, we have pockets so we need to cut our pockets you can use any type you can use the same fabric for a pocket or a different plain fabric for it so in this case i just wanted to play around with yeah something so i got my pockets done and i went to stitch on it i turned it and stitch so i'm going to pin it to the shorts and go and stitch on my machine it so that it will be in place. Yeah, I'll, I'll pin the other one to the other side. You repeat the same thing on the other side. So now we are done. You just have to remove the uh, little from. Yeah, then we pin them together. You mean the front and the back? Go stitch it. I'm going to stitch. You start from the couch area, the inseam, stitch, and then you stitch the side side together. So you need to pin them nicely. It has to be the same length. You have it has to actually be the same length. Should it be one? It shouldn't be longer than than the other. It should be the same length. Yeah. So we pin it, pin it nicely. Yeah, we are pinning, pinning away. Now we are done stitching, so we have to trim the thread um, nice and easy. Trim it nicely, and then we are putting, joining it up, yeah, up down to our top, just the shorts to the top. So you pin it. Now we are done. We are going to add our elastic. You measure the waist size. Oh, then you take two inches. I took two inches from the waist uh, side waist number that I got so normally when you measure the waist since you've used the hip when you measure it, it will gather so it's nice so you use the waist measurement and you take two inches yes then you, you go stitch it to it on the waist 
with the seam line where the seam line is you turn you sew it at the wrong side not at the right side yes at the wrong side so now we are done we are done with our um, elastic it's joined together yes you can see that it's, you can even it's visible you, you you have so many techniques that you can hide the elastic you can just leave it like this or you could just create a huge allowance so that you can put the elastic inside as well so, yeah so we folded the hem you need to iron so that when you're stitching and pin you know any stitching won't start yeah folding up so we are we are actually done with it yeah we are done with our hem done with our hem So we are adding our wire to it. Um, yes, our wire, our neck wire, it's like the string that they use for the pajamas. Yes. So you just measure any length that you want. If you want it long or short, so you just use it through the hole that you created, the loop. And now we are adding beads to it. It's hard when you're adding it. Try it. <laughs> you need to create, um, like, use. You can use the needle for it, or you can use the matches. Yeah, to make the, the tip really yeah, long so that you can. It's easy to do. It's easy to penetrate and pull. No hustle. Yeah, so now keep on doing it. You can use as many as you want. For me, I use three on this on this side and three on the other side. Then you, you tie them up. You tie them up. So yes. well, now we are done. We are done with our jumpsuit. So we just measure um, iron it nicely and just leave it like that. You need to iron it very nicely. Yes, voila, guys. That's our jumpsuit. Our tie, our self tied neck, neck jumpsuit. Yeah, it's lovely. Yes, it's cute. You can sew it for a plus size person, a slim person, etc. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.